Oh, okay. Are they fighting? Oh, wait. Who's in here now? Wait, who is this? <gasps> oh my gosh! Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. We have a very exciting episode planned. We have a lot of weddings. Our first wedding is going to be Elena and Takashi and Julia and Manuel's wedding, so it is a double wedding. And then we are going to be having Natalia and Elon's wedding. And then we're gonna be doing a double date with Molly Grace, Graham, Nani, and Malia. So we'll see them all later. So right now we are at the wedding venue for Julia, Manuel, Elena, and Takashi's wedding. And it does look like most of the guests are already here, but I am gonna go over a few things first. This episode is a couple months after the last episode. So in the last episode, it was like mid-March. Now we're in late May, early June. While the guests mingle and stuff, I will... Is Kaleo running with his shirt off? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, well, anyway, um, before this, Julia and Manuel, they did a traditional Oasis Springs wedding. They actually had... So they had the pre-wedding event, and I went over this for Ari and Gabriel's wedding as well, but they had their pre-wedding event, which was like a big party similar to a Sangeet for Indian weddings. And it's like a big party and celebration with a bunch of their family and friends. So that was their pre-wedding event. And then they had a traditional Oasis Spring ceremony as we'll call it. So again, that was also similar to Ari and Gabriel's wedding. Ari and Gabriel, they only had one ceremony. So it, so their other ceremony, Julia and Manuel's ceremony was just like Ari and Gabriel's. And then Elena and Takashi, they had a tea ceremony before this ceremony and that is supposed to be the most traditional part of the Guangxi weddings and for Han and Araminta for their wedding they had a tea ceremony as well so you guys saw pictures and I went into more detail about that there but for the tea ceremony the future bride and groom so Lin and Takashi they are to serve tea to their parents in-laws and other family members and it symbolizes the union of the two families and usually the family members they give the bride and groom gifts like red envelopes filled with money and like little jewelry and other trinkets and stuff but now they are going to have their wedding ceremony the one that we are here for um they're having this ceremony in willow creek oh my gosh and i just realized um natalia is already in her wedding dress okay um natalia it's not your turn yet you have to wait your wedding will be shortly we'll go to your wedding after this okay she's good also i think there's a glitch in my game that's making willow creek like always cloudy even though i change it with you UI cheats and with MC Command Center to sunny, it still stays cloudy. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit gloomy. But this wedding venue is called Wedding Cathedral 2 by Plexi. So that's P L E. E K X I, so you can find this on the gallery. I really didn't do much to the venue at all. I just changed up the color scheme a little bit, but for the most part, it was already done. I think all the guests are here right now. It's gonna be a pretty big wedding. There's like 65 people here, and there's gonna be 65 people at Natalia and Elon's wedding as well. All right, so why don't we go ahead and start the wedding ceremony? So what we're gonna do, it's not gonna be like a machinima for the ceremony like it is for like Dustin Adrick's because I mentioned I only do that for the monarchs and the heirs. But I do imagine that when all the guests do sit down, that Louis would walk Juliet and Elena both down the aisle at the same time. And then Manuel and Takashi would be waiting at the altar for them. So I think Julia and Manuel, they're gonna get married first. And then Elena and Takashi would be standing to the side while they got married. And then when they're done, then it, they would switch. So um, Julia and Manuel would stand to the side and Elena and Takashi would get married. So yes, Julia and Manuel are going to get married first. So let's do that. Elena's gonna go over here, stand there. And then hopefully the guests come to sit down. Um, and then now Manuel and Juliet are getting married. I can't believe they're getting married. They're so baby. They were like the youngest of the teen group. I remember when they had their first kiss. When, well, they had the first kiss the same time Elena and Takshi did because they were all doing a double date and it was super cute and they were so little. And I remember for the debutante ball too when they got together. I don't think I had planned like them being endgame or anything. I was just like seeing who clicked and stuff, but I 
think that with them, that when all the drama was happening at the debutante ball, that they kept slow dancing together. They were just like so entranced with each other and they just kept slow dancing while there was like fights going on on the other side of the ballroom. So for their honeymoon, I think that they're going to their honeymoon in Sulani. I think Elena and Takshi are going to be going on their honeymoon in Sulani too. And they would be staying in separate houses, um, but that they could like meet up with each other if they wanted to. But they could also have their alone time because they have separate houses. But yeah, I think that's where they're going to have their honeymoon. And then with Julia and Manuel, I think that they're gonna have kids like fairly soon. I don't think right away, but I think they will start trying to have kids fairly soon. So we'll say like in a couple episodes or so. But yay, okay, so they're getting married now. They're exchanging rings. <gasps> okay they're married oh my gosh they're so cute okay all right oh my gosh i love them so much all right so they had their ceremony now it is elena and takashi's turn okay so juliet manuel are sitting down to the side um i don't know why all these people are here and in the way why is everyone going up to the altar uh araminta <laughs> I know you're excited your brother's getting married, but like, can you move please? All right, we're good. I got most of them to move. Oh, Dean. Oh, Dean looks angry about something. Okay, everyone's just walking by. Um, I think we're okay. It looks like I got most people out of the way. Okay, well, so they're getting married now. Hopefully no one else walks right in front of them. But okay, so yes, they are going to Sulani for their honeymoon. I'm not actually sure if they're going to be having kids, to be honest. I can't see Elena like want like she's not that much of a kid person in general yeah I don't know I can't really see her wanting kids and I think Takshi's kind of like meh about it but I, I won't say like no like if they do then it'll probably be a lot later in life but they'll be like the fun aunt and the fun uncle. They have plenty of nieces and nephews and they will be having more. So yeah, I, I think they're fine, but okay. So they're exchanging rings now and they're getting married and they're super cute. Yay, okay. <gasps> oh, they had a few disruptions, but that's fine. But yay, they're married, okay. As for noble titles, so Takashi and Elena, they're going to be the Marquise and the Marchioness of Guangxi. And then um, Manuel and Juliet, they are going to be the Duke and Duchess of Oasis Springs. All right, so we are now here for the reception. So the reception is in the lower part of the wedding venue. Elena and Takashi and Manuel well and Juliet they're all slow dancing they're having their first dance oh oh and their side <laughs> I did not know she was there, but they're having their first dances as married couples. And then Zayori is just bobbing like right here next. This is so cute, stop. She's just dancing on her own. Oh, whoops, I fast forwarded. Someone needs to come get her. Like she's so cute, but like she's kind of um might be ruining the moment. I don't know, maybe they don't care. All right, so they're all getting food now. It looks like Ellis and Gorn have, oh my God. Cornelius is now just dance. Oh my gosh, Ellis is getting down. Oh my goodness. But yeah, Cornelius is like dancing in between them. He's like making sure they stay a certain amount of distance apart, making sure they don't get too close to each other by just dancing literally right there. Oh my goodness. But some of you guys were asking in the last episode if you could see if Alice May finds Kaleo attractive because I showed you guys that I got the Wonderful Winds mod that has the attraction system. All right, so it says that she perceives Kaleo as basic looking and that they have okay chemistry. It does say for Kaleo that he finds Alice May extremely attractive and it says okay chemistry for them as well. So yeah, some of you guys just wanted to see that. Oh, and here is a Princess Mamie. So I aged her up into, she was in the newborns. Uh, oh gosh, she's like walking a little bit, but um, she was in the newborn toddler preset before, but now she's like one size up, but still not the same size as like the toddlers, um, which is why she's or like her animations might be a little funny, but I'm trying to make it look like her hair is kind of like growing out a bit. So it's short right now, but but it'll get longer. But that is Princess Mamie, so we'll see more of her later. Oh, actually, before I forget, because I see them mostly standing together here right now, but so this is, oh, well, right here. So this is Dowager Empress Mei Lin. This is Araminta's mother. She's currently an elder. Um, and then I had mentioned before that she is married to Duke Kentaro. So we had their wedding in an episode a while back. This is Duke Kent 
Taro. I'm trying to get in the habit of like showing you guys the Sims up close. Oh, of course he moved as soon as I went to go see him. Okay, but this is Duke Kintaro. So this is her husband and Araminta and Takashi's stepfather, technically Anya too. Um, and then let's see, um, his kids are, I saw one of them. This right here, this is Lord Kai. This is his youngest son. And then he is married to Lady Hazel. Yes, Lady Hazel right here. They actually live in Mount Kumarebi. I think I'm gonna be giving them a noble title too. I just have to figure out which one. But yeah, they are living in Mount Kumbarevi, but they would be a noble of Guangxi because as I've mentioned before, Mount Kumbarevi is just a part of Guangxi. It's all still one kingdom, unlike the UKSD, which is two worlds as one kingdom. And then he's got two other kids. So his oldest is Lord Makara, who is supposed to inherit his duke title, I don't currently see. Oh, I found him. All right, this is Lord Makara. Oh, I see uh, Maxwell in the background too, and Molly Grace. Um, but this is Lord Makara, so he is the future Duke of Guangxi. And then there's also Lady, oh no, not Lady Vanna. She's actually Baroness Vanna now. So she has the title Baroness. So this is Baroness Vanna. She actually is one of Araminta's childhood friends. They grew up together and they were really close. And now they are stepsisters. So I thought that was really cute. But yeah, she has the title of Baroness. And then I did mention in the last episode that Desta might be pregnant in this episode. So Desta and Adric went on their honeymoon and they are, or I mean, Desta's pregnant. I have a habit of saying they're pregnant. I know people have a pet peeve about that. Um, but Desta is pregnant. If I can find her, she's in her first trimester. She probably won't be having the baby until another two episodes, wherever she is. Also, I will be posting a makeover video for Desta. I meant to do that before this episode came out, but then time got away. So now I'm going to be doing it after this episode. So that's probably the next video you guys will see. It'll be one of the speed makeover videos, the speed cast videos. I haven't done one in a while. So I'm going to be doing one of those for Desta. Oh, I found her. She's at the bar. She's with Zamora, her mother-in-law. Oh, whoops. Oh no, come back. Okay. Well, that's Desta. <laughs> She's in her first trimester. And then Diana is in her third trimester, I believe. So she'll be having her baby in the next episode. I'm really excited for Diana and Abraham to have their baby. And then we have a few people hanging out upstairs. We have Alice May and Gabriel, Makana, they're just hanging out and talking, Jabari. Um, and we have William and Minerva who are, they look angry. They seem really irritated. Oh, okay. Are they fighting? Oh no. When did their romantic and friendship relationships go down so much? You know though, we like, we, uh, we don't get to see Minerva much. I've mentioned before, it's because her parents are really overprotective. Plus I think now, so she's older than William. I've mentioned that before. She's two years older than William. She's 18 and which I mean, she's not a young adult yet because young adult is until they're 21 in my series but she is probably focusing, like I can imagine she probably wants to apply to universities and I am gonna get a mod to where teens can go to universities because 18 is typically, not all the time, but you know, usually when people start looking into going to university and I'm sure she's been focused on that and they haven't been seeing each other much and also because of her parents being overprotective she doesn't get to go to like a bunch of the outings and like stay in Sulani with them and stuff but like William really likes Minerva he just seems to like her so much but I can see him probably getting frustrated with not being able to see her as much so I'm sure they've had arguments like this before um they're really arguing oh my goodness I wonder if this is like getting to be too much for her. Like I'm sure Minerva wants what's best for William too. She doesn't want him to have to like worry about hanging out with her all the time and talking to her all the time. Like she wants him to like do other things too and pursue other things. Wait, oh, wait, did she just break up with it? Wait, can they do that without me telling them to? Um, I didn't know they could do that without you telling them to. Okay, I guess they just broke up. Oh. Oh my gosh, William must be so upset. Like I can see him just like trying to hide it. I, I can see them talking and like arguing and Minerva just being like, I don't know if this is gonna like work out and William just being like, what are you trying to say? And then her saying that they should break up and William just being like, okay. And like walking away and being really upset about it but trying his best to hide it. Honestly, I am sure with Min- Okay, are we just gonna like have them sit there? Should we have, um, let me have William. I think William would walk away. I think he needs a second to himself. Let's, let's go. Oh, he's, oh, he's angry and sad. He's got sad moods too. Oh, poor thing. 
um, maybe he would just like step outside and try to cool off for a second. You know, I feel like, oh, there's your mother. Oh, okay. It's like, um, mom, I just broke up with William. <laughs> um, but I feel like with them, like Minerva probably thought about maybe saying maybe we should take a break, but I don't think she wants to give William that like hope. Like if she doesn't know what's gonna happen, like she doesn't want to do that to him. So I, th I think that's why she would have said like, break up. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that to happen at the wedding. I mean, you know, William probably texted either, where's Jessica? Um, but William probably texted either Frederick or Kaleo, or maybe both, maybe they have a group chat. All right, yeah, Frederick and Kaleo are coming outside. He probably, yeah, he probably texted them in like a group chat and said that uh, Minerva just broke up with him. So they went to go, oh, try and calm down, yeah. They went to go check on him to see if he's okay. Oh, they just did a high five, okay, well. <laughs> No, he's still, it looks like he's still angry. Um, that was interesting. Um, try to brighten day. They're gonna try to make him happier. Oh, okay, they high five too, interesting. But all right, we'll 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 leave them there to try to cheer up William. Yeah, I can see him being honestly pretty upset about this. All right, so now they are cutting the cake. Elena is getting the cake and they're gonna cut that and then they're gonna serve that to everybody. And yeah, I mean, we saw a lot of people here. There's Arya. Um, we'll talk about her a little bit more later. Actually, maybe I should, oh, whoa, they're all celebrating. Okay, maybe I should talk about that now before I forget. But Arya and Gabriel, they will be trying for a baby soon. It has, at this point, been pretty much their one year anniversary, um, but their story is going to be on Instagram actually. And I'll talk about it in episodes of course too. So we'll see them more later. We'll, we'll talk about them more later. I think Cornelius and Ellis might be considering having a kid soon too. So we'll talk about that more in other episodes as well. And then we got Genevieve here, of course, and John, uh, Corn and John are still the same. John has probably tried to talk to Cornelius a little bit, but I, I think Cornelius is also probably so stressed about, you know, Julia and Elena's weddings that he might not be totally that friendly. Hopefully he'll warm up to John soon and Takashi and Manuel. We know he doesn't like Takashi, we know why, but hopefully over time that passes and Cornelius can warm up to them a little bit and they can get along a little bit better. But okay, so we're about to see a bunch of these people at the next wedding. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this wedding here. They'll have fun, they'll have a good night and we'll go ahead to Salvadorada. Okay, so we are now going to have Elon and Natalia's wedding. So they're actually also having two ceremonies. So they have already had one. They did have a traditional Salvadoradian, Salvadoradian, right, Salvadoradian ceremony like Desta and Adrix in the last episode. But since Natalia, so she's actually mixed. She is half Hispanic. Her mother is Hispanic and her father is actually from Salvadorada, so I don't actually know if I've mentioned this before, but with Marie, her mother, and Natalia, so Marie, she moved to Salvadorada when she met Natalia's father. They weren't actually married, they never got married, and then she had Natalia, and her father actually did pass away when Natalia was a baby, but I wanted to incorporate, like with the weddings, like a few different cultures and traditions, so there's not much I can actually show here because it's the sims um, but I can go through a few things so some of the traditions I wanted to incorporate for their wedding was one a Costa Rican tradition is for the groom to serenade his fiance the night before the wedding so Elon did serenade Natalia the night before now oh and also their wedding takes place a week after Juliet and Manuel and Elena Takshi's wedding. So they're actually not gonna be here because they're on their honeymoon. But yeah, so that's one tradition. And then another one is, so engaged couples in Chile, they wear wedding rings on their right hands until the wedding ceremony. And then during the wedding ceremony is when the rings are moved to their left hand. So I can't actually do that because we are going to pretend that they do that. And then also in Venezuela, the bride and groom, they quietly sneak away from their wedding reception as it nears the end of it and it's considered to be good luck for the couple to slip away without getting caught and good luck for the first guest who notices that they're missing. So that was just a few things I wanted to incorporate even though we can't really see it I just wanted to mention it and I feel like that's something that they would do. But the guests are arriving now it looks like we're still waiting for a good amount of them. But I can actually show you so if you do remember when we first were introduced to Marie which is Natalia's mother and Natalia we were introduced to them when it was Cayman's birthday, which is also the same episode we met Sissy. In that episode, you guys saw that Natalia's mother, Marie, she was trying
trying to get Natalia to talk to Adric because she wanted Natalia to be queen. And then that didn't end up working out. Natalia ended up meeting Elon first and falling in love with Elon. And then her and her mother haven't talked much since then. Um, they haven't had the best relationship, but I think Natalia has always wanted to mend her relationship with her mother. I think that Elon knew that as well. So I feel like they probably invited her to the wedding. And then at first she said that she wasn't coming and Natalia might've been kind of upset by that. So I'm actually taking this idea from New Girl, um, but I think that Elon would have like tried to call Natalia's mother every day and tell her how much he loves Natalia and how much it would mean to Natalia if Marie was there. And it does look like, I was waiting to see if she would actually show up because you know, sometimes guests don't show up. So I was waiting to see if she would show up and it looks like she did. Where'd she go? I, oh, there she is. I just saw her. Um, so this is Marie. She did show up. So she's at the wedding. And I think this is probably a good start for Natalia and Marie to start mending their relationship. Like obviously they're not on like the best terms right now, but I think this is a good way for them to start for sure. So I just thought it was sweet. I thought that was something really nice that Elon would do for Natalia. He wanted to make sure she was happy on their wedding day. I think I'll go ahead and start this ceremony now. I don't know why it's saying this, but it's saying that they're like Natalia's fiance is in Iran, which is Elon and he's literally like, he's right here. All right, yeah, it's not letting me have them get married. I might have to like make them elope even though they're not eloping. Oh, they're, oh, they're not directly in front of the arch. <gasps> Okay, that's fine. But all right, so they're getting married now. So for their honeymoon, they are going to Willow Creek slash Lumiere City. I think it's very romantic. I think that they would both like that a lot. So that's where they will be going for their honeymoon. I also think they'll be having kids fairly soon, but again, it, I don't think it's gonna be right away. We've just had so many couples have kids right now that they're all like kind of grouped together. So I'm trying to space it out just a little bit. Um, so we'll wait just a little bit for them. But yeah, they're getting very, they're super sweet. I think their story is cute, like falling in love with the wrong prince sort of thing. And I think Natalia too, and Desta. Natalia and Desta get along with Sissy really well. Sissy loves, they're basically like her older sisters and she loves it. They also get along, with, I think it took a bit to get along with Samora, but I think they both get along with Samora pretty well. I think Samora's probably harder on Desta because Desta is, you know, she's gonna be queen. But I think that they now get along with Zamora pretty well too. Zamora, I'm sure, is really excited to have grandkids. She's gonna have her first grandkids too because of Adric and Desta and then with Elon and Talia when they have kids too. Okay, so they are now exchanging rings. They're so cute, they're so sweet. And they're married, yay! Uh, because I love the little confetti thing, that's so cute. All right, so they are married now. All right, so I am now going to have them cut the cake and then we'll call people to the meal, cut wedding cake. And then before I forget, so in the last episode, I did mention that we were gonna get to see the families that have the babies in this episode. We're actually not gonna have time in this episode. I'm so sorry, but I'll show you guys pictures. So uh, the first picture here, so we have Lord Maxwell and Lady journey and their baby Lady Colette and then next we have Cambridge and Felix with Charles and Fallon and you guys did correct me and you guys were very sweet about it so thank you I did not realize that it was pronounced Cambridge I always thought it was Cambridge so thank you guys for correcting me so it is Cambridge and Felix and the nickname I think for Cambridge is gonna be Kami and then oh okay and then they're they're cutting their cake I love that animation it's so cute and then I also never got to show you guys we haven't seen Catalina yet Lady Catalina which is Lady Ariana and Sir Tom Miss Stratton's baby girl. So this is a picture of them. And then we also have Prince Yuzuru, which is Prince Akio and Princess Izumi's second son. So they have an older son, they have Prince Kato, and then we have Prince Yuzuru. So it's a family picture of them. And then someone thought that uh, Emperor Li Wei, which is Han, Akio, and Tai's dad, that he had died. No, he did not die, he's still alive. Um, he's still the emperor. Akio is still the crown prince, but Li Wei is super excited for all the grandchildren that he's having. Actually, that is it though because Akio and Izumi that's the that's all the babies they're gonna have and then Han and Araminta that's all the babies they're gonna have and Tai was done having her kid Shen a while ago oh and then just an updated picture um here's Bellatrix Samaria and Nohea so Nohea is no longer in the newborn um, stage. He's a, they're supposed to be here too? I haven't seen them. I, you know what, I haven't seen Jessica and Nani either. I moved them out of Sulani because there's this glitch going on where, wait, you know what, I can just invite them though. I, 
I don't think I'm in any groups with them. Um, but there's this glitch happening where people who live in Sulani are not coming to the events that we plan. I did move the Sulani royal family into uh, their, like, their own place in Windenburg, but then I thought I could just move the others out and like not move them into any place specifically, but apparently that doesn't work. Okay, I'm trying to make uh, the club for them, but the only ones, like I, I don't see Jessica on here or anything. They're only letting me invite like Nani and Bellatrix. <laughs> we'll invite them for now, I guess. All right, so it looks like people, they're kind of scattered everywhere. This is a pretty big venue. Oh, wait. Oh no, oh wait, oh, okay. <laughs> that is Aisha and uh, was is that Lord Chris? Didn't Aisha and Lord Chris, didn't they have a little f like fling in the past too? Okay, well, that's fine. I forgot to put some baby gates up. And then we have, we've Alice May, Makana, Kaleo, and Minerva. I wonder if Kaleo may be, he's like asking Minerva about, oh, she still looks a little bit upset. I I'm sure she is still upset. I know she's the one who broke up with William, but I'm sure she misses him too. But I wonder if Kaleo would be like asking Minerva. I wonder if William would ask him to ask Minerva about him maybe he's he's asking her like how she's doing since the breakup maybe William just like wants to know or something and I'm sure Minerva is saying that she misses William but like she thinks it might be for the better we got Araminta Cornelius Bellatrix William William is here oh they're like a seat away from each other okay I, yeah I'm sure William is still pretty upset I also think that Frederick and Kaleo probably had to convince William to like actually go out and like get out and distract himself I'm sure he probably didn't want to go to the wedding because he did know that Minerva would be here, but they were like, it's fine. Like there's gonna be a ton of people. Of course, right now they're sitting two seats away from each other. Um, but I think that they convinced William to just, you know, have fun, distract himself. All right, so most people are dancing now. Oh my, oh wait. Um, Molly Grace is arguing with Marquise Liam. So I mentioned before that Molly, Gra oh, let me go to control here. Okay, so I mentioned in the episode that Molly Grace met Grammon at the Royal Winter Ball, that was a couple episodes ago, that she's talked to some guys in the past, even though we didn't get to see it. Um, but Marquise Liam was one of them, and then Baron Juan, and then Lord Robert. And I'm gonna introduce them more later. We're gonna see them all at the debutante ball. Um, but it looks like Molly Grace and Liam are arguing. I wonder if he was like trying to flirt with her and she was like, no. And oh, wait, Frederick's here. But yeah, I, I really think that Molly Grace just like does not likely. Also, it says they have a sentiment. It's very awkward. They drive each other crazy, but they also drive each other crazy. Oh, ah, I don't know. Molly Grace sentiments about Marquis Liam grudging after a fight. Princess Molly Grace and Marquis Liam have un some unfinished business. This conflict is unresolved and tensions are high, at least from Molly Grace's perspective. Then Marquis Liam sentiments about Molly Grace, bitter sentiment. Festering grudge. Marquise Liam has a deep-seated grudge against Molly Grace. It's hard to forget or forgive the past, which may make being around Molly Grace feel unpleasant. Yeah, maybe he was like trying to ask if he could talk to her or something and she's just like won't talk to him. And now they're arguing and Frederick, are you gonna- Frederick doesn't like him either because he hurt Molly Grace. I, I think when they talked, so they were just like in a talking phase, they weren't officially together, but I think he might've been like hooking up with some other people and then Molly Grace was like, okay, bye. I don't know why um, Liam would have something against her for that though. I don't know, maybe he was trying to cover it up or something, I don't know. Uh, so the debutante ball will be interesting then. There might be some tension going on there. He also has a twin sister named Lady Eloise. Let me see. I don't actually see her here. I swear I saw her earlier. Uh, we'll meet her at the debutante ball anyway. And again, I'm gonna introduce the nobles in the next episode. So you guys can kind of um, get a feel of who's all going to be at the Debbie Tom ball. But yeah, I don't actually know where she is. Oh, wait, who's in here now? Is this Aisha and Crystal? Wait, no, Aisha's here. Okay, I was gonna put baby gates up, but um, I, it won't let me build on the lot because it says that it's a rental, even though it's not a rental. Wait, who is this? <gasps> William! Uh Oh my, wait, who, who, who? Um, isn't that, wait, hold on. Lady, um, Lady Ember of Brindleton Bay. William, I was not 
expecting that. When, when did you? I haven't even seen you guys. Oh no, they were sitting next to each other earlier, weren't they? That escalated really quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, I definitely think that's a rebound for William. I really think he's still upset about Minerva. And I think he's rebounding for Ember. I don't know. We don't know her very well. She will be at the debutante ball. So will Minerva. Um, oh, oh, and William is talking to Alice May now? No, William. I think he would tell Kaleo and Frederick about this now. I don't think he would. Oh, whoa, hello. Okay, everyone's talking about Charles. I think he would go tell Frederick and Kaleo about it. I don't know if this is something he would regret. I don't think he would tell Alice May about it. Alice May is his little cousin. I don't think he would go and tell Alice May about it afterward. And now Alice May, I think she's about to dance. I was watching her. Um, we'll talk about Alice May and Kaleo in a bit. Um, we're actually not gonna focus on them much in this episode. We're gonna focus on other people because we're gonna see them plenty in the story. So I'm gonna focus on the others for now. But oh my gosh, I am shocked. I'm shocked. Ember, I wonder if she did actually like William, if she had like a crush on him or if she just wanted to flirt and hook up with William. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um... Maybe we should end the wedding at this 2 a.m. They're, they're gonna party all night. All right, well, we're gonna end this wedding here and we are going to go on a double date with Molly Grace and Graham and Nani and Malia. Let's go ahead and end the wedding and we're gonna move on to our double date. All right, so we are now having a double date and I did download, I didn't have the bowling pack before, so I'm downloading the bowling pack because this is the first time I'm using it. Also, thank you to those who told me because I downloaded the Cool Kitchen stuff pack in the last episode and I didn't realize that the ice cream was in their inventory the whole time. So thank you guys for that too. So I'll know that for next time when they get ice cream. All right, they're here. They're all here now. Um, okay, so we're going to go bowling. Um, I don't, I, I guess you can, cha oh my gosh, wait, Molly Grace and Graham, they're just dancing on the porch together. That's super cute. So I was gonna focus on like, you know, our, our newer couples, the ones who like aren't in the relationship yet because they're all just talking right now um i was gonna focus on them that's why we're doing the double date and that's why i was planning on doing it without jessica and frederick but i can see jessica and frederick maybe going to comfort william although we'll, we'll have to figure out what's going on with the whole thing with him and lady ember in the next episode yeah maybe they're hanging out with william but okay let's see how do we what do we do oh whoa okay i just did the enable um moonlight bowling lighting this is cool okay cool they're all bowling together i'm really excited to see this all right so while they do that I will go through the story post there weren't a whole bunch I think there was about four since the last episode oh and also I did have some people they were asking me to post um these story posts on something other than Instagram I from what I thought I thought that you could still see them if you didn't have an Instagram and people told me you can it just like continuously asks you to sign up for Instagram and it keeps getting in the way when you're trying to read I will try to think of another place to post these. I, I do like Instagram because they're usually good at like blocking spammers and from people stealing your content and stuff. Um, so that's why I usually prefer Instagram, but I will try to think of another place to post. But for now, I, I will show what I can on here. I mean, the first two, because it was a two-parter, it was just a more detailed look at what happened with the chaotic teen outing in the last episode. So, I mean, you guys saw, it was pretty much the same thing. It was just Nani meeting Malia and then um, Caspian being there and Kaleo just sitting there boiling with rage. He didn't actually say anything, but those were the first two story posts. And then the next two, so it takes place in like early May and it was Alice May and Caspian and Cedric uh, for a little bit because they were playing with these water guns that Cedric got for his birthday. And then Cedric went upstairs to get a different water gun because the one he had broke. And then Caspian and Alice May were playing around and Caspian like shot her with the water gun when she wasn't looking. So she was trying to get him back and she like pinned him down <laughs> trying to shoot him with the water gun. And Jabari walked out and saw them in a position that he did not want to see them in. So he got a little bit upset. Alice May knew that uh, Cedric is supposed to be there when she hangs out with Caspian. Caspian. Jabari told her that Cedric always had to be there and then Alice May was like okay I'll go get him. She was really embarrassed like super embarrassed and then uh, Caspian was just kind of left out there with Jabari and Jabari just said like you're a good kid. My wife and I think very highly of you so don't do anything to screw that up and Caspian was just like yes sir. And then the one after that was a conversation with Amira and Jabari and then it happened
happened right after Jabari saw Alice May and Caspian like that. Um, and he just told Amira about it. And then Amira was like, I don't really see what the problem is. It sounds like they were just messing around. So they kind of got in a little bit of a heated discussion, but overall she just tried to convince him to keep an open mind, saying that Alice May is growing up, whether he likes it or not. And if he's going to keep being overprotective, she might either rebel or she's not gonna be prepared to like make her own decisions in life. And she just wants to be confident that Alice May is going to be like a good monarch when they're gone. They're not gonna be around forever. So she just convinced Jabari to keep an open mind. So now Alice May and Caspian can hang out without Cedric being there, but they just decided that like, there's still gonna be guards around and stuff. And then, oh yeah, and there was one more. So it was with Molly Grace and Alice May and Alice May was over staying over at the Brindleton Bay Palace and hanging out with Molly Grace. And they were just talking about like Caspian's upcoming birthday. And Alice May mentioned that Caspian's getting a motorcycle for his birthday. It's a 50 cc motorcycle so it doesn't go very fast but it's just enough to like get him around town and molly grace mentioned that it's enough for them to like go on dates and stuff too so we'll see that in story post but i mean the overall point of it is that um cleo was mentioned and alice may still hasn't really told anyone like what Cleo has said to her and you know, she should, she should tell people um, because people could help her. But I mean, you guys saw before when she was like first going through her depression, it was hard for her to tell anybody. She doesn't want to be like a burden on people and it's something she really needs to work through. She has like a hard time. She just, I mean, it's obvious. She has a hard time telling people things, but it is something that we'll see her work through in the story. So those were those story posts. Those are linked below. Again, I will try my best to find a place that I can post these in addition to Instagram. But for now, those are linked below and, and you can see them without an Instagram account from my understanding. But I, I know that Instagram just keeps asking you to join over and over again. And I'm so sorry, I did not realize that. But yes, I will find an additional place for those posts. But yeah, okay. So they're having their little date. Um, d mm, Molly Grace and Graham are not actually officially dating yet. They also haven't had their first kiss yet. I don't know if Nani and Malia would be having their first kiss yet. I think this is like the second time Nani and Malia have hung out. They hung out the first First time when Nani said that she would show her around Suvani, but they've both been kind of busy, but this is the first time they're um, getting to hang out again. Maybe they would flirt. Maybe they would like kind of like tease each other with the bowling because I, I don't know how good either of them are at bowling. Also, where's Graham? All right, Graham is here. So let's flirt. Yeah, they've been talking for a while. Molly Grace is just a very busy person. Of course, she's a princess. She has her royal duties and she also has ballet like five days a week. And then Nani and Malia are still, are they still playing? Oh, they're, they're still bowling. They're like, oh, 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 Nani. Oh, good. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe uh, Malia is like teasing her. <laughs> about her playing. And I, I feel like Nani would be fine with that. They're cute. Yeah, again, this is only like the second time they've hung out. So they haven't gotten to see each other much, but we'll see them more. And then I'm, I'm sure Nani might ask her to the debutante ball too. And same thing with Molly Grace and Graham. Actually, maybe Molly Grace would ask Graham to the debutante ball today. I think Nani would wait just a little bit. So we'll see them more later on. Okay, so let's ask to be boyfriend first. Okay, yes, he said yes, she asked him. All right, and then now let's have our first kiss. Yeah, I just feel like with Nani, I just feel like with Nani that she wouldn't, oh wait, am I missing it? Oh crap, no, wait, 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 stop. Okay, all right, I'm so sorry, we missed that. No, okay, let's kiss again. Oh, oh, whoa, okay, um, <laughs> I always thought Graham was kind of shy, but all right, it's kind of dark in here, but there we go, okay. And then Nani and Malia, so they're flirting a bit. I think they're gonna hang out more. You know, what would be cute? Maybe she would ask her to the debutante ball, but maybe they would actually end up having their first kiss at the debutante ball. We'll have to see. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know what you guys thought of the episode and everything that happened. There was a lot that happened, a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. It was just like kind of a big roller coaster. So let me know what you think about everything. I'm not even gonna name everything, but just the weddings and everything that happened at the weddings. The next episode will be a lot of fun. It'll be Kimmy Makana's wedding and we'll see more of the nobles. If you enjoyed this, make sure you that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!